we want to create additional information so that we can distinguish one point from another, we must break symmetry. And to do that, you might think to yourself, I'll just make one of the points blue so that when I rotate the circle, I can see the point rotate, thus I know a transformation is happening. But like before, you can always change your perspective by simultaneously rotating with the circle, thus making the circle appear fixed, and again, you're in the same situation as before where you can't tell that anything is happening. So to truly break symmetry, imagine we have a fixed red point, such that when we rotate the circle, the blue point rotates as the circle rotates, but the red point remains fixed. With this fixed red point, we create a reference frame that allows us to observe an angle from that fixed red point, thus allowing the different points on the circle to be distinguished from each other. By creating a reference frame, we create something that allows us to compare and contrast, thus creating distinguishability, and thus breaking symmetry. And the additional information associated with that broken symmetry is the angle theta. 